Hi guys. Well, I guess it's time to share a video. Um, we're almost done with this argon filling. We had um, four panes left, but um, all these panes are filled. These insulated panes. And what's happening now is uh, we had to wait on these other ones because, you know, the funny thing is we took all the moisture out of the space with these dehumidifiers and then we realized the caulking wasn't setting up. So then we had looked on the, we got the spec sheet on the caulking and it clearly uh, says right on here that you need 40% humidity in the space for it to set wasn't setting up so immediately we started to um, pump pump moisture so we just recently turned these humidifiers back on we just got a couple of cheapy ones from Walmart so we got three of them running of course you know the cold outside and the heat trying to dry the air out so we're kind of fighting the heater a little bit but you know we we patted up to 50 percent but you know, at 40 to 50 percent, it's going to take at least two days in the, in the winter climate to set up. All right, so now we got our argon filling. So these guys over the years figured out that this argon in between the panes is a better, a better way to, um, to, get, to get a better thermal value to the window because um, air let's the okay so if it's hot inside and it's cold outside the heat always wants to go to the cold so what happens is the heat goes through the panes of glass and through that air space and goes out right out so what happens the air allows the heat to to pass through it where the argon being an inert gas they call it a noble gas um it doesn't let the it doesn't let the uh, heat and cold trans through it so easily like regular air does. So the gas is um, adding to the insulated value of the window unit. So uh, I guess if you're going to be doing this, it's a good idea to try to accomplish argon filling in between the panes rather than just leaving air because it lets the heat go right out in the winter and the cold, the cold, uh, the hot of the the summer come right in too. How you doing, Angie? How you doing? All right, so we'll do a little, uh, do a little sample of how it goes, and um, we don't have any fancy equipment to uh, let us know when this unit's full of argon. So we uh, did a little research, and we seen a couple videos um, posted on YouTube, and what happens is that uh, since there's oxygen in between the panes, um, we got these little tea lights and uh, what happens is we put the tea light inside of this container partially open container because it needs uh, to let the combustion out when it's burning I put it near the front edge just tipped it open a little bit and then you can see that the gas um, the gas is going in there of course the um, the argon is heavier than the air so the argon sits and sinks so what we do is we make a small hole here and we fill the argon on the bottom and then the argon fills and as it fills it pushes the oxygen back out so what we do is put an exit up here so there's an entrance and an exit so it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward so but um so now i get this little thing here it's just bigger than what we're using and we're using um needles that you'd fill a basketball or football with except on this exit one we actually cut the tip right off so it's a full a full width of a needle to let the uh, the argon and the air come back out so it's not pressurizing the panes because if you're going to make a mistake um, you could I mean imagine this as a balloon you can blow it up too much and it would actually pop your seal so make sure you that your uh, sealant is dry 
and then make sure that you have a big enough exit to let the, the gas back out and the oxygen back out so it doesn't try to blow apart your panes. Okay, so let me put the light on. And I'll just show you that I just get this little, it's almost um, needle-like in itself. And what I do is I just come in along the side of the pane like that. See it? And then, and then what I do is I'll purge this. By the way, this is a three-stage setup, but it filter, filters out particles, it filters out oil, and the last one's really what we were after. It's, um, it's got a desiccant in there, and it takes the moisture. If there was moisture in this tank, it's, it's drawing it off, and it's keeping the gas uh, argon dry, so we're not adding moisture in between our panes. So. And that's just a regular uh, football needle inflating needle and it's got the one little hole there um, so what I do is I'll just purge it and you can hear it so and by the way um, this first setup on this stage needs at least 30 pounds of pressure for it to activate a valve inside there so I have this tank has a thousand pounds in it, and then I, this regulator brought it down to 30, and then from there I brought it down almost to nothing. Because you don't want a lot of pressure. You want to go slow with this. And then I even quarter cracked this valve even further to fine tune how much gas is going in there. So, so now um, let, me, let me put you down. Let me put you down, and you can see from here. I'll just, I'm just, just going to take this other thing, other Allen wrench back out, and I'm going to go into the same hole that I was just in, and then I'm filled there. And now this particular one here, we cut, we cut the needle right off, so it has a very sharp edge, and what we don't want to do is um, fill that with um, the spaces. So we just put this inside here. And this here just gets us in there without causing a problem. And then we come up here, stick it out, and then um, you know, just come along the side of the spacer. Come along the side of the spacer, and then you just drag it back out. And then um, this is a regular thing from a pump. Just, just fit on there really good. and then um, So you can just lock it on there. Okay, I'm showing you now. I'm showing you how this goes. Okay, now what you want to do is um, we're going to light that candle. And then when all the oxygen is gone between these panes, that candle is going to get suffocated and it's going to go out. Hold on, it's kind of... Hold on. Okay, so the candle's lit, and now I'm going to let the gas on. Let me put this down, see if I can do all this. And I'm only going to give it like a quarter turn. And so now what's happening is the gas is filling in from here. It's going across that whole pane, and it's going to slowly fill, it, fill up with argon and push out the oxygen out this one. This is your, your exit. And then, and then you can see that it's the argon's gonna fill and drop down to the bottom of this little container because it weighs more than more than the air that's in that container. You gotta have a container with the lid partially open because that's that flame is using the oxygen in that little area and it's also gotta let the combustion out too. So, you know, you can suffocate that flame just with combustion alone, and that'll give you like a false thing. So this is a little setup we have that works perfect. It just shuts right off when the, when this window was filled up. It will shut right off and uh, the argon comes out and fills this container. Anyways guys, I'll add on to this so you don't have a long video and then you can see the flame getting um, asphyxiated and then, it, and then it just goes out. You can see, guys, the flame is getting small because it's actually um, the oxygen is um, 
getting replaced by the argon and, and the flame, it can't burn any longer because there it goes. See now, it just blew out because it's argon down inside there. Then we just take this also just to double check and then you see that that flame can't even stay on with the, with the butane. See it? It shuts off. Even the butane shuts off. All right, so we're full, and what we do now is uh, we just sh shut it down. And I don't know, you can still hear there's a little bit of gas still inside the panes. It's pressurized slightly because it's filling up a big area. So we let it go until you can't um, see it. It won't even light. See it? Right off. That means that that pane is full of argon between these panes. Um, and now I'll just show you what we do from here. It's very simple. We just caulk it in and fill it off. So it's not big holes. It's just two needle holes. So anyways, while I'm just getting this, um, it's letting out any extra pressure that was in there from the argon filling. And, you, and uh, you can't hear it, but I can. And it's almost completely filled now. So and what we do is we just inject these two ports. So I start with the exhaust port first. And then I just uh, inject it in there. And I don't go bananas. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just filling it. I put a little extra on the outside. That's it. It's, I mean, it's sealed. And you just... Seal it off. And then you fill port. Just gotta seal it because you don't want you don't wanna um, let any moisture back in there. Yeah. You wanna seal the cog on. And then that's it. I'll show you guys. Okay. It's as simple as that. I don't know if you can see that with the reflection, but it's just filled back in with caulking now. Same material that we use to seal it, and then um, that's your argon filling. So if anyone has to do this, um, this is one way to do it if you just uh, you don't have a fancy piece of equipment uh, that reads the that reads pressure and all that other stuff. It's just a very simple little setup. Um, I guess the most important thing is uh, get this thing so it. So it's pretty sensitive to the gas because if you try to close it too much, the flame is using the oxygen. It gives you a false reading. So you got to let a little bit of an exhaust out for the combustion, a little bit of mixing of the air to get in. And then what you do is you just, um, you just set the hose here and the argon goes down in there and then fills that, that container up with argon and extinguishes the flame. You know, you know you're full. All right, guys, that's it for now. We'll splice on, and you can see how um, how this argon filling stuff went. But um, after that, we're going to put it in. So the next, the next video you'll see is actually us putting this glass in, and hopefully everything fits the way it's supposed to. And um, we'll do some movies from the outside. You can see the whole picture. All right, guys, take it easy. Till the next one.